Yo, it's your boy Red here, and basically I'm going to go over Bleach, the Netflix movie. Came out back in 720, but I just barely watched it right now. You're like, Red, where the fuck you been, dog? Well, I hardly, any, hardly watch animated films. What do you call them? Fucking live action. I hardly watch those. Most of the time, they're really bad or something, right? A few rare good ones that I know. Death Note, the original Death Note. Not the Netflix Death Note. <laughs> And stuff like that. So I decided to watch the Bleach one. And let me say it's actually not bad. Uh, for a fan of Bleach, I've watched all everything of Bleach. And I know everything almost. Um, it's not a bad film to watch. It kind of follows the entire first season. And uh, events that happen in the first season. But they kind of mixed up compared to the actual TV show. They have to, you know, for a film. It's only uh, roughly two hours long. They kind of have to mix uh, what was it, 26 episodes into that. That's insane. I think they did a very well job, a very good job on that actually. And the CGI is not that bad, uh, except for the day one with the the Grand Fisher. But other than that, it's great. And I also like that they included things from the anime, like Luffy's drawings. That was that was fucking awesome to see. Um, the cast did a well, a good job. Uh, the guy who played Ichigo was amazing. I liked him. Uh, Rukia was great too. Uh, different hairstyle than her anime, and this one she has a ponytail. It was great. Uh, Rahime and uh, Chad. They didn't have as big as parts that they did in the anime, and the anime, but I understand why those episodes were kind of like fillers. Kind of, kind of skip through those in the film, you know, since our main character is Ichigo, and that's what they focus on. Uh, Uryu is here, and he actually has a big part in this movie, as well as many other characters like, like Uruhara, fucking Renji. Uh, I forget his name, or Captain of Squad 13, uh, Squad whatever 11 or whatever they. I forget the squad he is in. 12 I think whatever but um yeah so we get to see all these people we get to see basically the actual first this is like I'm watching the first season just you know events different from it uh, the action was cool sword fighting was great the uh, Renji and Ichigo fight was good uh, Renji was basically he was an asshole and that's how I saw him when I first saw him in the first season I was like, he was a straight up asshole but as you guys know in the show he changes will they make a sequel to this film I don't know um, the music, <laughs> the music really reminded me of the 90s movies, like training montages, it's fucking hilarious. I don't know who chose the music, but hey, they did a good job, it, it was, every time a music played, I was like, damn, this is some 90s rock right here. Um, but yeah, it's a great film, uh, check it out. Will it be great for new fans? Nah, I would still suggest new fans to watch the show first, the anime, before watching this. It's still good though for fanboys and fangirls that love Bleach to watch it, you know, it's a great film. So with all that being said, I can actually give it a 7 out of 10. I enjoyed it, I don't think it was amazing, but it was still fucking well done. I loved it. Uh, you guys should watch it if you have Netflix, it's free, you know, go ahead. <laughs> well, not really free. But uh, thanks for watching, hit that like, hit that sub, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time.